So I decided to make this video because my son, who is in 10th grade, is struggling with this concept of function f of x. So let's say we have a function f of x. So what does it even mean? So let's look at this. We have this line over here and this line, it's called, it's, a, it's some kind of function, right? So since this is the x axis here, and then we have y axis. So basically what we have, we have this function of x. So it's called function of x. It's the function of all those x values. That's the input. The x is the input, all those x values. And what we get out of this function, we get the y values. So in this case, so what is the name of this function? So we have f of x equals so every line has a name so this one look we we have the y intercept here that's where we start so i'm just gonna write one here and it's positive positive one and now what's the slope so we're gonna go to the next point let's say my next point here is over here so i have one two so i have one two so two over and then one to the right right so 2 over 1x and now plus 1. So this is the name of the function. So I have f of x equals 2x plus 1. So now um, sometimes in a textbook you see the question for what value f of x equals 5. And that's where students get lost because they don't understand what f of x means. So as we can see here we have for what value f of x equals 5? Now, this is a function of x. So, for what x is my y5? So, I'm going to look at the y value here. So, that's this point. So, what must my x be to get my answer 5? So, in this case, we have 2. So, you can see 2. So, that means that x equals 2. All right, so when my x is 2, my y value is 5. And for that reason, we can also say that f of x, I think you guys at this point would agree that f of x equals basically our y. That's our y values, right? Function of x, whatever x we plug in, in the function, it's going to give us the y. So the x is the input that we plugged in and the y is the output. All right, so... Now we have this kind of question. If x equals 7, what is f of x? So again, I'm going to, um, let's say, so I'm going to look at the graph. So here is my 7, 5, 7. So here is 7. So if my x is 7, what is f of x? So what is my y? So if you go up here, so you can see that here my y is basically number 15. So I can say f of x equals 15. All right. Now let's say this is just from the graph. Let's say you want to check and see if the answer is correct. Now for this one, if we plug in 2 for x, we get 2 times 2 is 4 plus y is 5. So you can see that f of x equals 5. And here, if we plug in 7 for x, we get 2 times uh, 7 is 14 plus 1 is 15. So f of x equals 15. All right, so I hope that kind of explain the concept a little bit behind f of x. Now, we can sometimes have like time and distance. So let's say, so I have a function of time. Mostly time we have on the x-axis, and I'm going to label this as a t. And then we have distance here. Oh, I don't know how to write this vertically. So I'm just going to try this way horizontally. Distance. Okay, so and that would be d, let's say. And here is 0. So we would write something like f of t, function of time, equals distance. All right? So I hope that helped.